You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of SmackDown from February 20th. And the wheels keep spinning. Pretty much. Well, you gotta remember, still got a month before Fastlane. Yeah, and that's the problem. <laughs> and the main event is set. Yeah, and the tag team title match. Um, technically not. Technically not, yeah. not completely. So you could have gone with the women's title. The women's that title, is, that is said as well. The U.S. championship, the other title on there is. But yes, but the tag and the U.S. title, I think, is going to change. Or they could. Yeah. Or at least differ. Well, I don't I don't think the tag match is going to change. <laughs> that might add. Who? Well, well you think you're going to add the people yeah, who lost? Yes. I think it'll just well, they can't really do that. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's true, but we'll discuss it when we get to it. All right. Yeah. So, before we get started, nah. earlier in the day, you had texted me saying they should have a gauntlet <laughs> match like they did on Raw. So, But it take up the entire length of SmackDown. Yeah, that's what you suggest. Yes. Okay. So, the show opens, AJ's <laughs> in the ring. He gets interviewed by Renee Young, very similar to what happened with Raw, her um, interviewing Roman. Right. So AJ goes on about how it's not fair, or he, he takes Renee on a tour of the ring, saying something like he could be um, throwing Kevin Owens through a table, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Sami Zayn's in the middle of the ring getting, getting pinned, pinned by, by Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. Right, yeah. Um, and then he made a few examples like that. Yeah. He's like, well, if it was one-on-one matches, I could beat all of them. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to do it. And they did not. No, unfortunately. Because I think as soon as AJ was running down the list of competitors and he got to Corbin, Corbin comes out mm-hmm. and says, you can't beat me. The last time we wrestled, I took the United States Championship from you. And, and then I beat you in the beat rematch. You. Yes. <clears throat> but yeah, Corbin yep. says that he's gonna win. Yep. And then at that point, Owens comes out. Yep. He's like, "I'm gonna save everybody in trouble. You two need to shut up." That's it. Um, and Owens starts talking, and then AJ asks him, "Oh, you got that boil removed from your back?" <laughs> Owens like, "What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> and at that point, I was like, "What is he talking?" And then I said, "Oh, yeah." yeah. At first, I didn't know what he meant. Yeah. I was like, eh? Yeah. So obviously, he was referring to Sami Zayn. Yep. Um, and then. It, what was it? I don't know, I think oh, yeah, yeah. Was just yeah. He was just on. making excuses for like why he lost the week before and right. stuff like that. Um, and then at that point, Shane comes out. Um, and then after Owens complains about not being prepared for his match last week, Shane puts him in a match right away. Yep. So. And then he also made AJ versus Baron Corbin as the main event. Yes. And Owens and Ziggler, and that will take place next. Yes. But uh. The two of them put on a pretty good match. Oh, uh, yeah, Owens and Ziggler. Was, yeah, there's a good match. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ziggler has the uh, most moves that will get a near pinfall, but he won't win. <laughs> it's true. It, well, it, it, you know, he's got variety, which is not it's true. very common nowadays at the very least. Well, and the majority of finishers don't get the job done anyway. It's true. It's definitely true. Yeah. Um, so... Um, the, the way this match ended was, uh, Ziggler went for the kill in, uh, what was he doing in that corner? I, he was going for something. He was going for the super kick or? I don't think he was. I don't remember. Um, oh, oh okay, yeah, he was going for the super Because he kick. hit the famous, he, it, it looked really good the mm-hmm. way he did it. I don't know if we, he did something different with his feet or something like that, mm-hmm. but the way he came down, it just looked yeah more so, devastating than, yeah. So, it, cause, yeah, he also hit a zigzag mm-hmm. and all his different yep. moves. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, Owens is in the corner. I guess he was going for a super kick. Probably. That's then, usually how he tries to finish <laughs> off matches yeah. anyway. And then uh, Sami Zayn's music hits. He comes rushing to the ring. Ziggler's like, come on. And then you can you see the camera from the ramp, mm-hmm. and you see Kevin Owens walk over and kick him in the side of the head. Yep, and then he was yeah, out. it was a nasty cue because it was right, it was right to the back of the yeah, head. So I mean, obviously, I'm sure he hit the hair or something like that, but still, but it just it looked, looked like bad. it looked yeah. So uh, and then he uh, he gets the win. Oh, yep. instead, because mm-hmm. he knocked Ziggler unconscious. Yeah. And they, I think him, Sammy, just stood out there for a minute staring at him. Right, like, they yeah. just kind of like 
made eye contact, and that was about well, it. Well, yeah, because I think Kevin Owens it wasn't sure what was going on exactly. Right. Yeah. Because at this point in time, the two of them really weren't together no. at that point, no. I guess. That's what happened last week. Well, they, it's because they were like fighting over who deserves to have the championship, and then oh yeah, because they blaming lost, lost each other for losing. Matches. Yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah. And then we had this U.S. title picture, mm-hmm. which apparently they've made an entire feud out of the top ten list. Yeah, which was the not exactly how I figured it would have gone. No. So but, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. So what was it? Jinder come out, right? Yes, Jinder came out, mm-hmm. and he was going on about how he has a secret of Bobby Roode's top ten. Yeah, his. Well, no, because he's like Bobby Roode has a secret, and I'm gonna share it with all of you. And it was like you said, Roode's yeah. top ten, mm-hmm. and number one on Roode's top ten, surprisingly, was Bobby Roode, yep. even though you're not supposed to vote for yourself. <laughs> It's so, so stupid dumb. nonsense. And then they made a point to say that Orton wasn't on there, right? Yep. Orton wasn't on uh, the list. Neither was Jinder, but Jinder expected Yeah, that. yeah, obviously. And then what? That brought Rude out, and he just... Yeah. It's like, I don't even know what that is. That's not <laughs> I don't true. know what you're talking about. Don't don't try to pit me against Orton. Yeah. Because that's literally what he's yeah. doing. And then um, they went back and forth, right? Yeah. And yeah, Rude said that he Jinder couldn't beat him in a fair fight. Mm-hmm. And then what, Orton came out, right? Well, um, Rude said, don't worry about Orton. Let's let's oh, right. let's Settle put it. this between the two of right, us. Yes. And that's when Orton came right. out. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, stop bringing Orton into it, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, they uh, a little more talking happens. Um, and then Orton goes after uh, Jinder. Mm, yeah. And then... Um, no, and then the... Yeah. No, he goes no. after Jinder. He get he gets. Yeah, and then Rude clotheslines him over the rope. The, out yeah, of the I ring. think the two of them do it together. Right. Yeah. And then at that point, Orton goes for an RKO okay. on and then Rude. Rude reverses it into a glorious DDT. Yeah. Rude standing tall, and then Jinder comes back in the ring and it's hits a the gloss. Yeah. Yep. And, and then, then this segment just gets even better. Well, yeah, because it kind of continued into the backstage. Yeah. So we go backstage, and Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon are both looking on and. Daniel Bryan's like, oh, I'm going to make a... Uh, I think Jinder deserves a championship match, so I'm going to make Jinder versus Bobby Roode at Fastlane. And then Shane's like, no. Why would he deserve it? I, don't you think Randy Orton deserves it? I'm going to I'm gonna make Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode. And, you know, he basically says that Daniel Bryan's... It doesn't matter what he says because he can over overvote it, basically. Pretty much, yeah, because yeah. uh, Bryan said that originally you signed me on to, be, uh, to help. Right. And it seems like you're just completely ignoring my uh, my decisions. Yep. It's true. Yeah. So then Shane made the match of Orton versus Bobby Roode. Yep. For fast lane. Uh, I would assume it's this gonna is... be a triple threat. Yeah, match. exactly. But it's it's still the the But why, it wasn't why do we have necessary. to jump through these hoops? Yeah. It wasn't necessary to have Shane and Daniel Bryan be involved. It was pretty obvious that it was going to be a triple threat from, from the, the get-go. beginning. Yeah, because absolutely. Because Jinder was the one who instigated everything. Yeah. But, I mean, now you're, you're just adding Shane and Daniel Bryan to another story. I don't like, like it. I don't like it one bit. So what are we going to have? Jinder coming out and yelling at Shane McMahon next week? Yeah, probably. <sighs> like, You don't respect me uh, because yeah. I'm different. And other things. Right. Right. That That's what we need. Mm-hmm. And then we have the six-woman tag match. Yes, the staple of SmackDown. <laughs> That's it. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't terrible. No, it wasn't. They're, the worst they're never thing. bad. No, no. It's just they're boring, or they're it's, they're not boring. They just don't do anything. Yeah, they're pointless. Um, like I, I would have to assume. I think you mentioned it last week that Carmella may cash in at Fastlane or something like that, just because she hasn't been on TV. That is true. Not since her failed cash in, I think. Yeah. Maybe there's Natalia. Mm-hmm. Tamina's hurt. hurt. Yeah, she'll be out to the end of the year, I think. Really? Yeah. She gets hurt a lot. Um, and then uh, yeah, Lana, some, but that's yeah, not a surprise. Lana. I um, think that's that's pretty much it. That is everybody. Yeah. Uh, well, when you have six of the nine, right, in one match, it's, it's true, and three of them are in a stable. Yeah. So, and three of them weren't on the main roster two months ago. That's true as well. <laughs> All right, it might have been a little longer than that now, but 
I don't remember exactly when they came out. Had to be. I think it was right in around December. the beginning. Of the, yeah. Was it that late? I think so. Yeah. But it was probably I think at the end. Mm-hmm. It might have been like right after the last pay per view. The one. Clash that, Champions. Yeah. Yeah. It might have been right after that. That's true. Um. Anyway. Yeah. After Charlotte didn't defend her title. Oh no no she did. Def- she did against Natalia right. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, right. But yeah, this wasn't a bad match. No. Um, obviously, moving forward with their feud, they uh, made a big stink about how Charlotte was able to take out Liv and Sarah Logan. Um, but she hasn't had a singles match with Ruby. Um, and for some reason, instead of right, continuing... Because Becky it, had a singles match with Ruby, right? We yeah. had established. Um, and then, um, for some reason, they put Ruby over on Becky. The and- female Carl Anderson. I, I guess so. <laughs> she, she Becky eats a lot of pins. She, eh. and I, I could have sworn she ate a lot of pins it's, in it's, the. It's possible in the the six woman tags that um, they've had. Either way, it doesn't matter. No, Naomi got pinned uh, oh, maybe at least did. once. All right, so it's probably everybody but Charlotte. Fair enough. Everybody except for Charlotte is the Carl right, Anderson I'll, I'll, of SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Becky Lynch hasn't had anything to write home about. It's since... true. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm just yeah yeah just um, glaringly obviously with glaringly obvious with her yeah so um then they turn the tables and now it's one down two, two to, to go, go for ruby which makes no sense because the other two lost so it's not like they have any advantage or whatever but that's that's kind of what they're going for what do we got three weeks till fast lane something like that it's the 17th is it 17th i think so something like that but, don't know for sure yeah either way yep but uh but we've got next, time yeah so we have a backstage segment with kevin owens and Sami Zayn. this is actually probably one of the better segments on the show um this was kevin owens basically thanking Sami Zayn for being out there for him tonight and then Sami Zayn saying no i should be the one to thank you yeah for some was, reason he went back to his guardian angel thing yeah he for a second, you know, I mean, he said he was spinning his wheels and he wasn't doing anything. And I thought he was talking about the SmackDown writing team at that point. But uh, <laughs> he true. said, you know. <laughs> true. It's not wrong. <laughs> Kevin, you kind of turned it around and made me relevant again. Mm-hmm. So. Heels, heels making good, good points. points. That's it. That's what I was just going to say. Um, but, yeah, and then he mentioned something about laying down for Kevin no, Owens. He was right? very clear. Yeah. He said that the two of us will team up and take out the other three, and then I will lay down for you so you can get that WWE title. So mm-hmm. that means what's going to happen is that they're going to team up and take everyone out. He's going to pretend to lay, to lay down, down for him, and then he's going to roll up Kevin Owens, and he'll be the WWE champion. Oh, yeah? That's not actually going to happen, <laughs> but that's that's. I think plan. Dolph has a better chance of winning. He did just sign that new contract. Um. Hmm. I don't know about that one. So, I think the favor is, if you have to go in order of likelihood, it's going to be AJ, then Owens, then Zane, then Ziggler, then Corbin. Then Corbin. Yeah, that's that's my that's yep. my order. Well, it's funny too because I think Shinsuke's had a feud with everyone but AJ so far. Maybe not Sammy. I don't think he had a feud with Owens. I thought they well they they've had a handful of matches. Yes, I that say. is very yes, true. Yes. But they've never had a proper okay. feud. Well, whatever. He's beaten him. Yeah, then he's Nakamura has beaten everybody but AJ in the WWE. And he's going to beat him at WrestleMania, in case you haven't heard. That's true. Yep. And uh, Shinsuke's been off the show for what two weeks now, or uh, couple, maybe a little, maybe longer actually. That's definitely possible. Yeah. I think um, he did that one promo. Well, of, yeah, because he he was on the show, but he didn't do anything. He just said things. Yeah, I think it's been since the Rumble. The Rumble. He hasn't actually yeah. done anything. Which on SmackDown. again, this is kind of like the whole. Well, no, Oscar's done stuff. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know the reasoning behind this. Because I guess they, they just want to get Fastlane out of the way. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's it's like a big feud that they're doing. So that instead of having matches to take away from it yeah they're doing i guess it's true but i mean i I feel like it's just kind of doing him a disservice as being a victor of the royal rumble and well you got to remember like that's the same thing with lesnar not being on tv like the feud happens when he's not there yeah so i guess that is that is fair um but yeah yep 
And then next we have a, a tag team match. Um, I guess the winner was going to face the Usos at Fastlane. Right? I believe that was... I, it, it wasn't it was, said. I thought it was said. What was said was that the winner is going to be the number one contender. Okay. I, maybe it was announced it was, on Twitter it was not, or something like it that. It was not said that they will be facing them at Fastlane. Okay. I could have sworn it was announced online or something like that. I was going to say, I think it was assumed, but I don't yeah. think it was actually announced. Right. So this was the New Day versus Benjamin and Gable mm-hmm. again. Yes. Um so the referees got, really don't like Gable and Benjamin. Yeah, we got more shenanigans. Um, I don't even remember what happened. Those to be heels, the new day. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They. Uh, well, we saw Chad Gable use his amazing strength on Big E again. It's crazy how <laughs> strong he is. Yeah. Deadlifting so, Big E like he's so good in the ring too. Yeah. It, it's a, it's kind of a shame that he's kind of floundering in a tag. Kind of. Right? But he again, looks good. He wouldn't he's... be doing anything. For sure. He wouldn't get. The opportunity that Jason Jordan got on Raw, at least on SmackDown. Yeah. Also, I don't even know how well you consider Jason Jordan's. He was a focal point of a lot of stuff. Yeah, I guess, but he's, they didn't give him a lot of good stuff. Like he was there, but he wasn't. At this point I, I know, in the I game, yeah, it's true. You're lucky if you're on SmackDown and you're not in the main event. That's true. Or dealing with Shane and Daniel Bryan, which is the main event. Yeah. Um. um but yeah. But yeah, they uh, Benjamin and Gable end up hitting their finisher. Their what is it? The tag team. Well, it's the double. Benjamin team. picks him up for a power, power bomb, bomb, right? And then Gable hits him with. Uh, he like, just drops drops on, on top of him. Yeah, from. Um, and he, I guess the referee had his back turned for it, right? Well, Kofi was on the apron trying. Oh, to that's get into right. The yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, which uh, was odd, kind of from the new day. Yeah. as of recent, I mean, it's more of their tactics from when they were tag champs and would do anything to uh hold, their, hold the, titles. the titles yeah um but yeah kofi is like trying to get into the ring and the rest like no you're not allowed in here um so that's right he did distract them yeah and then i think i guess gable is going for the pin on biggie mm-hmm. and then xavier woods because the ref finally comes over xavier woods is able to to break the the count mm-hmm. um and then i think that I guess Sean Benjamin gets taken out on the outside because he. I don't. I don't think he was around. I think. So. Yeah, maybe that was right. Yeah. Yeah, because then. Yeah, because it was Gable alone in the ring, and then yeah. Xavier gets, gets him take. with the shining wizard yeah. of all things. Um, Odd finish. And then uh, Xavier Woods pins him. Yeah. So. And as soon as the match is over, but the New Day was going to leave, and the Bludgeon Brothers music. Hits, right? And they walk down and kind of, Rowan kind of stares at the New Day and Harper grabs them and they go into the ring. And then they beat up some jobbers and that's that's what happens. Yep. So how much longer can they go on with these squash matches? As long as they want to. I guess, but it's not doing them any good. It's not, but it never does. I mean, what is this going to build to? Nothing. It's eventually, it's going to be a, a match with the Usos, but we don't know when. Right. That's where we figured... That I. That they were going next. Yeah, at fast least. lane would make more sense. And now, what are you going to prolong it till? It better not be Mania. I don't think it would be. No, because the, the New Day versus the Usos would make more sense for Mania. But with well, the New Day winning this match and having, you know, they could win the titles at Fast Lane. I guess that's true. That would make it be a better. three on two match. <laughs> what you mean? The New Day versus the Bludgeon Day? Brothers? Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I mean. Um, oh, the New Day versus the Usos and yeah, their rematch. The, but with the New Day being the champions as opposed to yeah, that would make more sense. Yeah, that's true. Um, and that would be very typical of SmackDown to do that. It's true. Just recycle feuds. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining because it was a fantastic feud. Yeah, you can't. I mean, it's can't it's really... been a little while since they've actually yeah. wrestled. Well, they had their their what was it the Oost Truce? Yeah. Yeah, the Oost Truce. Is that after Clash Champions or no? No, I think it was before. I think it was after Hell in a Cell. Was it really that yeah. long ago? Holy crap! Yeah, well, because they had that brutal match, and I think that's when they got the respect. That's right. So, but yeah, yep. so that was all the way back in October. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, before said squash match, Uh because they came out and they went to commercial before the match actually happened. Um, Charlotte did a uh, phone promo. Yeah. And, uh, basically she was saying that she will destroy the riot squad Mm -hmm. and she doesn't mind. She has to put up the the championship. And then after the squash match, 
the Riot Squad does a phone promo, and it says that w- she's like one down, two to go, and Charlotte, you're next. And oh no, Naomi, uh, she challenges Naomi for next week. Right. And then she says that Charlotte, I'm coming for you at Fast Lane, and I want Thank your you. title on the line. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so. We think that they might have played them back. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I could have missed something. on Because on. it really did seem like Charlotte was answering a, a challenge yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. before the challenge had been yeah. uh, presented. But we could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, no. I, that, I'm that, not going to lie. I wasn't completely paying attention. You can't, because... can't completely pay attention to these things. <laughs> yeah. So up next, we had another <laughs> phone promo. <laughs> Baron Corbin this time. Yeah, it was funny. We were watching the uh, the Kurt Angle, uh, what the hell is it called? Photo shoot. Photo shoot, yeah. And we were just making a comment <laughs> about, they showed the Austin and Angle with the cowboy hat backstage promo, and just the backstage promos used to be so good, and yeah. now they've kind of just diminished. The phone stuff is better than they had been. It's true, but... But there's still, it just lacks... Yeah, let them do this on... Twitter or mm-hmm. Facebook or whatever. Yeah. It's not needed. You can just say, you know, check out. But yeah, a lot of a lot of this backstage stuff lacks the personality that it used to have. Well, that's the problem. We're not building characters. Mm-hmm. Like we've said for the whole Riot Squad. Mm-hmm. Who are they? Whatever. Yeah. They're um, the Riot Squad. That's all we'll know them as. Corbin just reminds everybody that he's going to win a fast lane. Moving on. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's all I said. Yeah, pretty much. We that brought it. us to the main event. Yep. AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. Um, Another good match yeah. that Baron Corbin was in, surprisingly. Uh, well, not surprisingly at this point. It was his opponent. Come on, let's let's be fair. But he's been in a lot of good matches. It's true. So Yeah, his match with Owens last week was really good, too. So it, yeah. it, it, he he does some of the work. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm he, not going he, to. Uh, he hit a very, uh, a very deep, deep six. Yes. He, the he amount spun, of revolutions he got on it. Yeah, he like spun at least one full time more than he normally does. <laughs> um, well, I guess it's a lot easier when you have a smaller opponent. Yeah, like absolutely. Yeah, not like it's like Owens oh man, it's like week. I'm lifting nobody. <laughs> good but stuff. It was a good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Corbin's physicality going up against AJ's quickness and like I don't, like, don't want to say strategy, but like technique i guess so. that's fair um and uh they make decent opponents for each other it's true they yeah. balance each other out yeah i guess that's fair um aj put on what the calf crusher a couple times or just once at least once yeah i know that owens not owens um corbin was selling the uh the, the light yeah later on in the match um and then uh so yeah yeah then i think aj hit a one forearm but it wasn't Technically, it wasn't phenomenal. I guess I don't know. Corbin <laughs> was really close to the ropes when AJ jumped off the apron. Yeah, that got a two count, but then AJ eventually hits a phenomenal forearm for the win. Mm-hmm. And then what? Uh, Owens and Zane come out after them. Well, I think Owens came right out, right? Or they I, both? I think come they out. both came out as yeah. soon as the bell rang. Yeah, and they attacked AJ, and uh, Corbin actually came in for the save. Yeah, and he hit the end days on both of them, right? Yes. Yeah. So. So yeah. Corbin helped out AJ. But it was more like him just being pissed off at the other Right, side. yeah. Um, I want to hurt everybody, please. Yeah. So, yeah, it was all in all not a bad episode it, of SmackDown. No, it's just, I feel like... It's hard the, It's hard to get excited about it. It's true, and it it's... It, the sad part is, is that some of my favorite wrestlers are on SmackDown. Well, and, f- unfortunately, we didn't see Rusev. So. Yeah, yeah, that was a big thing. Yeah, because yeah. like Owens is good, AJ's good. Yep. Um, who else would you be considering your favorite wrestlers? Oh, uh, Zane, uh, Owens and Zane, yeah. AJ. Um, I, I do like Corbin a lot. I was gonna say I don't know if there was any other people you were referring to. No, and that. then the women too. I mean, I like yeah. Charlotte. well, Charlotte's very Becky's good. Becky's good. Naomi's I good. Mine, yeah. She's very, she's very um, athletic. Yeah. So not so much that the wrestling stuff is there it's yeah. more like what she can do mm-hmm. uh, for like because usually the women don't try as much right. like jumping and stuff like that yeah no that's no, true yeah she um, is very athletic um and then yeah like you said rusev's on there i mean I enjoy ty and a couple other characters i mean i know you're never gonna see ty again. i know i know well they want to kill that 10 chance so that's part of the reason why they're doing it 
So it's, dumb. Yeah, it's something. But, Whatever. Hey. So yeah. It's not three hours to sit through of it. It's true. Yeah. Uh, so. ex- unless you watch the mix match challenge and then two oh five live. Yeah, but that's completely different. It is it is different. Mix match challenge has been very good actually. Yeah, and that's a shame that it hasn't I think it was funny because I was watching the uh the numbers on it and it jumped up I think it was at like seventy three thousand it topped out at. Yeah. As soon as the bell rang it dropped to like fifty thousand yep. and then it just eased. I saw the same thing. Pop off. So, I was like, saw wow. This, saw the same thing. Yeah. And then two oh five live has been very enjoyable since it has been good yes uh maverick's been a hell of addition um he really plays the which is funny because he doesn't play that much of a role uh, no but in in what he's in he's, yes it, he seems like an actual mm-hmm. authority figure yes he seems like he's trying to do it's not him forcing his will uh, yeah. on things mm-hmm. it's him trying to give you the best product that's it it's almost as if that's what he's supposed to be doing. I it's know. scary. I know. All right. So well, that's uh, so what yeah. happens when Triple H takes the reins. It's true. But yes, this has been our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.